Hi, welcome to this video and this channel. We try to inform you about various courses uh, that you can pursue in various institutions of higher education. The various classes, the technical training institutes, the National Polytechnic, Technical Vocational College, the Institute of Science and Technology, and all such kind of institutions. Uh, personally, I teach electrical engineering. But now the main aim of this video, I wanted to highlight the main difference between two courses. That is Diploma in Civil Engineering and uh, Diploma in Building Technology. Because I realize some of the students who wish to pursue uh, Building Technology end up pursuing Civil Engineering. And some of the students who wish to pursue Civil Engineering end up pursuing uh, Building Technology. But in a nutshell, uh, Civil Engineering is a very broad field that uh, involves four major areas. Uh, that is structural engineering, water engineering, transport engineering, geotechnical engineering. A trainee pursuing diploma in civil engineering cover a little bit of each of these four areas. That is, they do a bit of structural engineering. They cover a number of units in uh, uh, structures. They also do a bit of uh, water engineering. They do a bit of uh, transport engineering and a bit of geotechnical engineering. Building and construction mostly deals with the uh, construction of houses the knowledge and the skills that required to construct a house from scratch that is from uh, their ground to a complete house that is the foundation, the surveying required, the excavation uh, the walls, the various materials required, the finishing the type of accessories in the building, the roofing and all that but for civil engineering it's mostly design and construction of uh, various infrastructure such as road, railway, building airports, seaports, uh, runaway for the airports, involves construction of dams, the canals, the various drainage structures, uh, water structures and so on. So civil engineering is quite broad. Uh, if you are not interested in things to do with building houses on your own, a much broader area, uh, you can do civil engineering. But if your main interest is just building, then in that case you should do uh, building and construction. But now let me take you to the site so that we can see what they are doing there. Uh, there is a lot of work going here on the institution. So this is what we mean when we talk of a diploma in building technology. In this case, they are in the foundation. So let us check the foundation. So you also do the various type of materials that are used in construction, uh, the metal, the concrete, uh, the wood. Uh, you also quantify the amount of ex excavation to be done. So this is what we call building uh, technology. You can see uh, they all have started coming up. But remember building and construction doesn't always involve building houses uh, where people live or doesn't involve, it doesn't always involve building houses for domestic use. It can also involve building houses for commercial or industrial use so you cover the cost right from the excavation all the way to the completed structures uh, for example the one we have over there we also said uh, those pursuing either diploma in civil engineering or uh, diploma in building and construction they do a bit of uh, mechanical engineering uh, because of various machines that will be used in the during construction but mostly for those who are doing civil engineering, they do a lot of uh, construction plant equipment. At the same time, they also do workshop technology because of the various equipments that are used during uh, construction. Uh, that's why you need to learn about the various construction, the material that are used, the sand, the ballast, um, the stones that are used for construction. Here I've visited one of the civil engineering uh, labs to learn about various machines. Uh, that are used to train civil engineering and construction. Uh, here we have a compression test machine. 
uh, for compression test of precast concrete, universal testing machine. Uh, it is used for carrying out compression tests, both compression and uh, tension test. And here you have a pan mixer that is also used for mixing concrete. And that's why trainees in uh, building and construction and civil engineering usually take a unit in uh, workshop technology. And then here you have a horror block maker uh, that is used for making uh, this type of blocks. Uh, there's a lot of equipments and machines that are used in civil engineering and building and construction but I've just mentioned some of them so that at least you can see why you need to take some of the units uh, that uh, I've mentioned in the syllabus.